What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video. Today we're going to take a look at this newly released Iron Man Mark 7 open suit version and you can still pre-order this at bigbadtoystore.com. I'll put the link down below. There's a lot of first on this release which is the uh, first one is I think this is well I don't think I, I'm pretty sure this is the first one and might revol uh, revolutionized. Uh, the way they light up figures because how it works is that according to this description at least it lights up with two functions one is you can run the USB-C we've seen that before but this one you could you know just connect it to the base and I'm assuming the base is the one that's going to have a USB cable to it and then it would draw power from there and then it would light up and we've been asking for that for the longest time now some especially for Iron Man figures, because it just makes sense. They're die cast. You could literally run a wire from inside a figure from its feet, you know, to make some contact points and then light it up from there. So it, it makes sense from that perspective. Could they apply that to, let's say, a lightsaber in the future? I do sure hope so, because, you know, I... I don't get me wrong, I love the new USB feature, but having having the light up come from the base would just hide those wires. It would just look neater. It would look, you know, so much cleaner on the display wise and also photography wise cuz you can just have him stand on the base and then, you know, he lights up. Now, would it limit your poses? Of course, yes, because if he can only, you know, light up with that stand, let's say on that, you know, feet, let's say there's a contact point on the feet, then you can't really position him in any other way. So that's that's the drawback that I see. But for an Iron Man figure, let's say, especially if it's going to stand, you know, in a, in a Hall of Armor or something, it, it, it does make sense. But maybe, maybe down the line. That would be the case because if, if you are posing him for photography, you can Photoshop it. But if he's just standing on your display case, you know, whatever it might be, uh, a Jedi or, you know, whatever, then it makes sense for the base to be the source of power. Now, the other first that I was mentioning earlier is this might be the first figure that you would display with the back facing you because the back part when it's open like this picture right here looks phenomenal it looks better than when it's facing front because we've seen this look right here maybe not the open look you know with uh shoulders and all that stuff but we've seen this i got a mark 7 plastic back then i have a mark 7 die cast now i mean it looks great but nothing as detailed as the back part especially when lit up it just looks phenomenal so this might be the first figure that you display backwards, like the back is facing you. And it it I'm all for it, man. It looks nice. I want it. I'm not sure if I, I didn't pre-order this. I, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get it right away, but it's an Iron Man figure. You know, I'm a sucker for Iron Man. It's Mark 7. Uh one of if not my favorite armor of all time i just like mark 7 because you know avengers uh the first avengers movie and it, it just gives you that that nice robotic look that mech look still i don't know there's something about mark 7 and mark 4 as well that i i, I really really do like um you know what i think mark 4 would be my my preferred armor but nonetheless this looks good the base looks great this looks like a, a you know, like a modified, I would say, more futuristic base of the uh, the Iron Man that was released a long time ago. I think it's Mark III as well, where he does have that stage and he's changing. I forgot the name of the Iron Man, but he does come with that, that middle stage right there. I mean, look at this guy right here. It looks great. It's very scene-specific. Uh... But I, I like this in between Iron Man face. Like like I said, the Mark V suit up. I want to get the um, uh, the Mark 33 as well, the suit up version for for that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get that, but I, I do want it as well. And, and same goes for this. 
Same goes for this. It, it looks phenomenal. It, there's a lot of details in it. It doesn't articulate. It is, well, there's a lot of moving parts. But this is more like a power post, if anything, but die cast, you know. So I don't know if the price really warrants what they're asking for this. It, it is cool. I don't know if it's that cool to be priced at around, how much is this? 300 something? Yeah. I, I, I don't know about that. You know, like if, if you don't have an Iron Man, obviously this is not the definitive Iron Man. This is just a supplement for your Iron Man figures because this is, he's not, you know, even a, I guess if you close everything up, he could look like an Iron Man. And I, and I even think you can put this into your Hall of Armor as a stand in for your Mark 7. Because, you know, sometimes. I, I feel bad leaving my Mark 7 or, or all of my armors in there. I feel like I'm not getting the most use out of the the Iron Man. They're so expensive, yet they are confined in in that, you know, in that Hall of Armor. But nonetheless, this looks really cool. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get it yet, though. I, I know that for sure. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. You guys, Iron Man, I'm, speaking of Mark 7, they announced that black and gold, which is, again, a nice color scheme. But most likely, that's something that I would just... Mm -mm, that's... that's if it's, if it's not canon from uh, the MCU, I'm going to skip on that. Uh, yeah, that's... But it, it does look nice. I, I You know what? I, I'll even say this. I'd rather get this than that. At least this appeared on the movie. It's Mark Seven. It's an actual, you know, it's an actual part of that MCU. But yeah, man, they're running out of ideas. They're they're recycling. There's another Mark Seven, the suit up version. So this is kind of what the open suit, and then there's I like that too because he it comes with a Tony Stark, like an actual Tony Stark, and then it's it's when he jumped off um, the Avengers Tower, and then Mark Seven just kind of chased him. That one I do like because I think I can really use that head sculpt. So maybe I'll skip on this and just go straight to that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Are you guys going to pick this up? Are you excited for this? Or are you just, damn it, another Iron Man? I, I hate this. You know so so I, I don't hate it. You know, I actually do like it. I just, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's just how I feel about it. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.